Oh, for sale of a vehicle max, we have a beautiful 2008 Infiniti QX56 two wheel drive, silver on the outside with black leather interior, loaded up with navigation, sunroof, DVD, 20 inch chrome wheels, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. Car is all original, has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. New Goodyear tires. Car has no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touches of any kind. If you're watching this video in Auto Trader, let me tell you, it will cut off at three minutes. To see the full 10 to 15 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out right on our website. There's a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to call me. My name is George. You can reach me at 305-218-5462. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and um, get inside of it. First of all, I want to show you um, how the intelligent key works. Locking up the car. This is the type of key that you put in your pocket and you pretty much forget about it. When you approach the vehicle, instead of having to unlock it uh, by pulling at the remote, on both front doors is a little black switch. You press it once for the driver door and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. So, one, two. And now all four doors are open. The car is uh, black on the inside. Of course, we got a power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. The door panels are all black with a wood trimming and a chrome accent over here. We got memory seats for up to two drivers. Of course, we got uh, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. This particular car also has power folding mirrors. Okay, got to turn on the car for that one. I'll show you once we get inside. We've also got a uh, power tailgate. Um, this is for the rear vents. This is to, to control the lights here, and this is uh, adjustable power pedals. And um, show you how that works here. If you can see it moving. This is a pretty neat option if you got a real tall driver or a short driver. These move independently from the seat about four or five inches, which helps out when you get a, as, as I said, when you get a real tall or short driver. We got our parking sensors both in the front and the rear. This is to disable them, take them off temporarily. We got curtain side airbags. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get inside, get started. Okay, so once I get inside the car. Uh, it senses that the key is present, so I need to step on the brake and turn this knob right here. And the key still in my pocket, okay? Let's go ahead and turn this on here. Turn the AC, lower the volume so you can hear me talk. Put that a little lower. Okay. Okay, power moonroof, let's get that open first so we can get a little better lighting in here for the, um, for the video. It's a glass moonroof, it's tinted, and it also has this hard cover to block out the sun completely. Let's go ahead and leave it open for the video. Okay, there's our uh, navigation which turns eventually into a backup camera. We got power tilt wheel. Okay. Um, car has 67,938 miles. Car is running right now. I'm going to rev it. Keep an eye on the left hand dial. 5.6 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is so you can see this idling perfect running um, uh, perfectly with no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no service engine zoom, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. No lights on at all. Only a seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Okay, we've got the um, Bose stereo sound system that has remote controls uh, 
from the steering wheel here on this side we got Bluetooth also voice command and uh, we also got one really really cool thing that most of these don't have and it's called the uh, see if we can get it to focus it's active cruise control that's a little button here and the active cruise control what it does is let's say you're going 70 miles an hour okay when the car senses a vehicle approaching toward you that you're getting close it slows down the speed of the car so all you've got to do is let's say you're in the right lane uh, then the left lane is open so move over to the left lane once you get on that left lane the car will uh, accelerate back up to your previous speed without you having to do anything at all as a matter of fact it works uh, really really accurate in the sense that let's say all of a sudden you're going 55 miles an hour and somebody pulls out of the driveway or something the sensors will feel that will get the car it will bring the car to a complete stop so it's a really really cool option that is uh, actually really expensive to get when you buy the car new okay heated seats high and low positions okay <clears throat> we got wood trimming around the shifter in the door panels and also on the steering wheel which is leather wrapped and I'll pan around the next and slow here so you can see that is in great shape there are no burn holes anywhere on the steering wheel seats door panels carpeting headliner and there's no odor of smoke so it looks like definitely the previous owner was a non-smoker okay let's go ahead and turn on the stereo so we can listen to it uh, what do you put the volume up you can raise it through here. Sounds great, by the way. Both stereo sound system. Okay, so, so this is for your volume. This is for the mode, and that means going from AM to FM to XM and this vehicle does have XM stereo capability right now it's on preview mode only because you have to have the subscription added to it okay back to FM oh it also has um, a music box it's got a hard drive let me go right there's FM there's your XM and there's your music box okay it's got a hard flash drive over here so this is a state-of-the-art stereo We'll go back to FM right there. And this button down here is to navigate about your preset stations. And what I mean is these here that you set, one through six. Uh, the stereo, I think, is called Grace Note or something like that. It's the top of the line. <clears throat> a couple of power outlets here in the middle for your cigarette lighter adapter. Analog clock. Auxiliary port for your iPod. Towing haul mode so you can uh, make your transmission shift a little differently. If you're uh, towing a boat, got a remote control. I think this is for the uh, for the DVD back in the back there. Let's go. Let's go take a look at the DVD real quick. Right there. Okay. There's your roof-mounted uh, DVD, ready to go there. Right now, it's just waiting for me to press play. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You get controls for the DVD back here as well as your air conditioning. This car has what I call a triple climate control and I'll show you what that is in the front. Have AC vents for the middle row passenger as well as the rear row passenger. This is just a pocket for storage. And you get map lights in the front and also another set there in the back. Not only are the front seats heated but also the, the rear row seats are as well. Okay, both sides of course. This is an eight passenger, two in the front. Three in the middle as we have the full bench and three more in the back and they all have an over the shoulder belt including the middle row passenger which uses this one that comes off the seat and on the rear row uses that one that comes off the roof okay so let's get back up to the front for a moment <clears throat> as I was saying before I don't know if I did say it it's got power windows but not only power windows they're automatic power windows meaning one touch you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go up or down <clears throat> on the turn signals the mirrors as you can see they're heated and there's a uh, flashing on the mirror 
which helps out in case you get the radio going on and you can't hear the ticking. When you look at your mirror, you realize that you left it on. Obviously, the same thing on the passenger side, which is a little bit hard to see here because the sun is setting, coming in from the back. <clears throat> I told you before, it's got power folding mirrors. And I tried to fold them while the car was uh, off, and it doesn't work that way. The car has to be on. Okay. Uh, what else can I tell you here? There's our main glove box over there, and there's a remote for the um, uh, for the DVD. I believe this might be for the music. I'm not sure. Unless this is something that doesn't belong to this car. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure that this is for this. Um, okay. Uh, what else can I show you? Let's go ahead and pan around the dashboard so you can see that there are no burn holes or cuts or tears or cracks or any sunspots or any um, uh, any areas where they are where it's damaged or lifted. Uh, let me remind you that we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. Okay, up in the top here, got a storage pocket for sunglasses. The mirrors are vanity with the lighting and extensions. And also you got another piece here in case you want to fold this out. You can block out the whole entire corner. Map lights, of course everywhere in the car and above. Uh, the rear view mirror is it has a digital display for a compass lets you know that we're pointing and heading in the east direction. Uh, the little three houses, that's your home link. That's so you can program your garage door or gate at your complex. You can program up to three. Uh, what else can I tell you up in the front here? I'll show you the steering wheel, all the controls, the instrument panel. Uh, I think we might be ready to move on to the back. <coughs> By the way, I don't know if you noticed, the wood trimming is in the door panels, the steering wheel, around the uh, vents, uh, picked up again around the shifter, over in the passenger side there by the dashboard, the doors, I mean, it's really, really sharp looking. And this car, as I said, uh, it's got every option. Very few of these cars you're going to see with the active cruise control. That's a rare option that most people don't have. And it's really, once you drive it, uh, and you see how it works out, you would, you're going to love it because you don't have to be messing around with turning off the cruise control or not. Normally if you got a car in front of you that's going um, slower than you, you have to turn off the cruise control and step on the brake. This particular car will slow down for you when you find a new open lane. It'll pick up the same speed it was before and if you're being distracted, I mean it'll break, it'll essentially break for you, you know? Okay, the door panels in the rear are the same. They got the wood trimming with a chrome accent, silver handle. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection and this is how it works engage it here and what that does is that disables this inside door handle uh, just in case you have small children and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside once you engage that the only handle that work is the outer handle to re-engage just do the opposite flick it back over and this handle will start working again okay um, over here we get a power point cup holder that pops out uh, again it's eight passenger two three in the middle and three in the back is a total of eight. To gain access to the rear, just flip here and then this gets out of the way and it's nice and easy to get back over there. Uh, let's go ahead and open the tailgate. It does have a power tailgate. You can open from, you can open it from the front, from the remote, or by just simply pressing on a switch that's down here. This is the rear camera that I forgot to show you and I'm gonna go back right now and show you it. Uh, these seats are power folding and let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Now let's do the other one because I want to get the seat belt on the way there. They're fold independent from each other. It's uh, what we call a 60-40 seat. Okay. Completely flat. 60% on this side, 40% on this side. The reason I didn't do this side is because the seat belt's in the way. It's engaged down there and I don't want to reach over and do it. But they both do the same action and they come back up also. So you can fold one or the other. You don't have to fold them both. The switches are located over here. Over here we have another power point. And uh, over here is, so you can close the tailgate, you can just press here. It has a little chime that warns you that it's gonna close. You got four parking sensors and the rear bumper. And you get the front sensors, I'll get to this in just a minute. Has a heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection there ready to go, class three. 
rear wiper, rear window defroster inside. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome trimming is in great shape. It's not peeling or cracked anywhere. Nice and shiny. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Let's go ahead and have a look at that uh, at that rear camera that I forgot to show you before. Just a lot of options. Okay. Uh, reverse and then that's where we get our camera I'll back up so you can see how accurate it is right up to the silver BMW back there okay there we get our first set of warnings for the parking sensors you can hear the beeping the beeping increases in speed until eventually it will become a solid beep and right there we still got room the camera is very accurate okay put it back in drive pull forward get our navigation map back a lot of point of interest there you see the little fork and knives that's for like restaurants and stuff uh, all right uh, let's continue let's go back to the other side and have a look from the passenger side view we already seen in here <coughs> excuse me um, right rear door panel. The seats are in phenomenal condition. Look like nobody's ever even sat back here. Rear seating area. It's pretty comfy back there. That's not a. You can put an adult back there and he'll be fine. It's not one of those rear seats that that is only for little kids. Okay. Let's move on to the uh, front. Uh, the, the, uh, remember I was telling you, uh, you can open the key from this side of the, the door from this side of the car by having the key in your pocket. So if you're with a lady friend, you want to open the door for her, you still don't have to take the key out of your pocket. You, when the car is locked, just come in here, press once, and the door will open just as the same way as it does on the driver's side. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the speaker covers are cracked. And it's got power seats on the passenger side. Uh, and also uh, uh, recliner, power recliner. Okay. Give you a look at the headliner here so you can see if there's no uh, stains or burn holes. It's not sagging anywhere. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. Okay, uh, that's going to do it for the video in this unit. Uh, I just want to talk to you about financing for a second. If you need financing, we have uh, excellent rates for good credit and we also have special financing for not such good credit. If you're concerned about the financing and you want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved, just go to the website vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page you see the silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely and then click submit at the bottom of the page so we can get you pre-approved. Go ahead and turn off the car. And uh, the final portion about the demonstration of the intelligent key is when uh, the key's still in my pocket. When you leave the vehicle, if you want to lock up the car, all you got to do is press it once. And now all four doors are closed. So the key never left the pocket and we were able to access everything. Anyway, that'll do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at VehicleMax.net.